The carbon is a very serious blow, particularly for North Queensland and for Western Queensland, because it's like a stock whip. You move the handle a little bit in Brisbane or in Sydney, and the speed of the crack is the speed of sound. Now, we're going to feel the sting of the fly at the end of that stock whip. We people in Northern Australia and out in outback Western Queensland. But the blows will fall most heavily upon the mining industry. Now, Australia has lost its manufacturing. It is all but lost its agriculture within four years. We'll be a net importer of food. It has lost its tourism industry. The flying high dollar has destroyed that. Now, we did have the mining industry. Now, we do not have a mining industry. We have a quarrying industry. The final nail in the coffin was banged in today with this tax. Now, the government has made all sorts of... They're saying, we're going to hit you with a $20,000 million tax, but nobody is going to get hurt. Well, if the Prime Minister can convince the Australian people, she sure has got great powers of persuasion. But, but I don't think she's going to convince anyone at all. I mean, the whole idea of putting this carbon tax on is to punish people for using car making carbon emissions. If it doesn't punish them, then it's not effective. Uh, but you can't punish them and give them, take the money on this hand and give it back with that hand. I mean, what is the purpose in doing it if that is the case? Now, you've got to ask yourself, why would they not go down the biofuels pathway? And if you disbelieve me, the patron saint of Greenies, Al Gore, on page 139 of his book, An Inconvenient Truth, names as the first solution to the problem ethanol. The first solution to the problem ethanol. But the government has not gone to that solution. It has imposed upon the Australian people a massive new taxation in the vicinity of 20,000 million. And if you're saying, well, you're going to get it all back again, well, what's the purpose in doing it? If you're taking it off with this end and giving it back with that end, what in hell's name is the purpose of doing it in in the first place. I like the Prime Minister personally. But, you know, she needn't have made any concession whatsoever to the Greens. What were the Greens going to do? Go into coalition with the Liberal National Party, were they? Not likely. A Liberal National Party led by Tony Abbott, the Greens were going to... And, and, and Deputy Leader Joe Hockey, the Greens were going to go into coalition with them? Not likely. They were never going to go. She never had to make any concessions at all. But... Uh, but the government as a whole just doesn't sit down and think things through. Not even the politics of the situation do they think through. And, and the politics of this were quite obvious. I mean, Mr Greens, do what you like. What are you going to do? Go and have a coalition with the Liberal National Party? Not likely. She should have called their bluff right at the start and she should call their bluff now.